Hello my ghosties, me sweet dark Lilith, and yes, the dream vlog of the week. And I'm in my old room, my dad is inhabiting it at the moment. Yeah, I still come in here because it's- I'm still comfortable with this. And that it's the only time I could get some alone time and peace and quiet. But let's continue. So these dreams, like, there's like two, maybe two are really interesting, the rest are just, I don't know, boring. Like this week has been such a dull week. I have not feeling anything, um, I just, I did get a text from my professor, it's like, okay, the auditions are this time, I'm like, crap, I really do need practice, so I just haven't, and then it's been raining, so I can't work on my reads, or they get screwed, so I'm like, I just need to get my ass moving, and I just don't feel that, I don't have that motivation, and I kind of feel these in these dreams. Let's get started. 29th of June. I walk across Johnson Field and meet with one of my guy friends. We talk, we hang out at my dorm, a single studio. It needs doors. And then he leaves, I have another guy over. He's trying to hurt me. I run and there's this other guy with a brass weapon comes after me. He has tremendous strength, I keep moving. So this dream is pretty vivid. So I did, that was like on Johnson Field and I meet with my guy friend because now at the moment for summer he is living on campus for work. And we just meet on campus and I go to this new dorms, but like the way we're going is like where all the old dorms are, but it's like everything's new. Like it's a single studio apartment now, but I have no doors in my room. Like even the bedroom, there's no doors. I was just like, okay, no doors. So we go out, we hang into like the common area where the TV is. And it's just like, okay, we're talking. Gets like, I guess he gets awkward, he leaves. This other, well, my other acquaintances I know comes, but I feel something's really off about him. So I end up going away and running, and then I'm bumping with this girl. We kind of stick together, and then there's this guy with a brass weapon, like, smashing shit, like, the Hulk status. It's like, Bruh. Yeah, I'm doing that. And we're just, like, running. We're moving around the building, like, no other. It's like survival. As base it was, we're just running. 30th of June, I couldn't stop smirking, even if I did, like, mentally I did. My face was frozen, and when I smirked again, it got bigger and hurt. Okay, so, smirking, and then I would tell myself to not smirk, so, like, I should go back to this face, but I couldn't, so it was, like, frozen there, and then I will think, okay, maybe I could smirk again. If I smirk again, it would get so big that it was, like, those cartoon status smiles, like, impossible, and it hurt. I felt so uncomfortable when I woke up. It was, like, ugh. Uncomfortable. So glad I woke up from that because that was just weird. 3rd of July. I'm in a race with people to get across the pool. Um, we're on rails that hang above it. Okay, so part one of this dream. It's at nighttime. I guess we're in someone's backyard and there's a pool, but he made us interesting. There's rails, so like bright, like hovering on top of it and they do some swiggly stuff like. And Sonic like the Hedgehog, when you do those things, he's like, he gets on the rails, like, shh. Kind of like that. It's like very party theme. It, it seemed actually quite fun. Part two, I'm in an untamed forest. I'm hiding from this creature. It can talk. As soon as it turns its back, I fly off. My group and I discover there's something underneath the water. A little blue octopus that controls the axes that hurt people who enter the water. Okay, so first off, I'm like, I feel like I'm on my campus, but it changes. Like, I enter this one building. A very big buildings too, so it's not my campus, but it feels like it. I go in, um, it's like the cafeteria area, and I, I was like going down the escalator and I see one well, of my professors above. She's talking to me, I don't know what. Like, I don't understand her, and she just kind of leaves. But as I finish going down the escalators, I'm magically in this untamed forest. It's like extremely wild. Like, no humans ever go in there. And I'm just like wandering around. Next thing I know, there's this big creature. It can talk. It's hunting me down. So I like hive in the cove of a tree and it's just like Burr. find them. Find them. I don't know. It's just weird. It's very alien like. Like that's the only way I describe. I can't think of an animal to actually picture it with. But it had rough skin. It was like a grayish blue. It was very like I don't know, everything was like very dinky. Like it was not very vibrant in that dream. It was like it's like one of those movies where the lightings are quite bad and there's no vibrancy. It was like that. But yeah, as soon as it turns back, I, like, I run. I'm like running the next thing I know I'm in the air. I'm flying. I'm flying. It was great. That was actually pretty cool. 
then I see where the ship is and where my group is, so we, I land there, and we're all, I was going to get close to Mormon because I know see these like sharp and scissor things, and I'm like, on the water, we're like, okay. But we noticed something, like on the shore, you see something peeking up from the water, like, like a trash bag, you know those trash bags people sometimes we elongate into like a slip aside slide across. Yeah. But we like lift it up and next thing you know we just see a little blue octopus under him like okay hey, it was kinda cute. And we talk to him and he's like okay I'll stop the, the weapons and yeah. Part 3. I'll walk around the mall and notice that it's closing. I go to the theater. So yeah, I'm like in the mall. It feels better familiar because there's a theater connected to it, but there's like less people so I'm like okay it's closing and the stores are closing so I like leave and exit through the theater and the theater I feel so lost and it's so foreign and I just have no idea where to go or what I'm doing. This is where it gets really boring. Fourth of July. Butterflies are nesting under people's skin. Someone dies. There's a few more but I couldn't remember them but this one stood out. Yeah, so I just see like someone's sleeping face, and next thing you know I just see a butterfly land and they start burrowing in their skin. And it's like, I saw another one that was like coming out, I was just like, oh okay, oh, okay, that's weird. 5th of July, um, it's illegal to sing, spiders, bathroom. My stuff and my roommates were switched in the bathroom. Yeah, I don't actually remember anything when I woke up this today. Um, I remember part like, I guess I was trying to sing and someone says, I'm not allowed to. Yeah. And something about spiders. I think I was killing spiders on next stream. Last one, I walked into the bathroom. It's a double sink. And my stuff wasn't next to the cabinet mirror where all my stuff normally is, because I have a lot of shit. And it was on the other side. And I was just like, okay, this is weird. I won't go confused there too. So, I think the theme of this week's dreams that I feel very lost and I quite do at the moment in my life. Yeah. Those are my dreams. And yes, I do feel really out of it today too. I'm tired. I ate so much yesterday. I still could feel the food coma setting in from yesterday. Oh gosh. So much food. It was really good. I had steak. I had a hot dog. I had a lot of stuff. I had a lot of sweets. Then I had a, a Danish birthday cake, which was so good. It's just like white cake. You slice it up, put some whipped cream on there and some fruits. Oh, oh my cousin made it. it was so great. She needs to visit all the time. So I told her, like, you can, we gotta make one together. She, I need to make one. It was so good. Oh, fruit cakes are good. Why have I never tried one before? Oh, but yes. Um, right now I think fame is confusion. And yeah, yeah. Just gonna push through. So yeah. What do you think these dreams are? Or what are your dreams this week? Or yada yada yada. I am so out of it this week. I kind of don't care. Okay, my ghost. I'm sorry for the lame dreams this week. Kind of happened that way. But you know, butterflies. Okay, ghosties. Have a lovely week and see you next time.